Tell us why electronic cigarettes are, um, for those of us that don't know or are confused. Sure. They look a lot like regular cigarettes, um, but there's no combustion. So uh, what you have is an instrument uh, filled with a liquid that's uh, laced with nicotine. Um, you got a battery, it gets heated up, turns into a vapor, and you inhale a vapor rather than uh, combustible smoke. Hmm. And, and oh, sorry, Dennis. Well, yeah. why are people upset about this? This, this is progress, right? Um, yeah, I mean, th that's what makes an interesting debate. Uh, there's two sides to the debate, as always. Um, you've got the FDA, which looked at these um, in 2009. Um, it's a very new technology. And, uh, and they did some preliminary tests, and they said, you know what, um, there's toxins in here, there's carcinogens in here, uh, there's not a heck of a lot of um, uh, oversight. And uh, so concerns were raised at that point already. Um, on the other side of the debate is, okay, they're not totally safe, they're not, they're not what we consider healthy, but um, there seems to be um, a fair amount of consensus that they're less harmful than, than regular cigarettes. But aren't we, aren't we right now in sort of the, the arc of, of public health policy here? We're moving much more towards just smoking cessation completely as opposed to a reasonable sort of bridge step or alternative. Yeah, and that's at the heart of the debate. Um, there's a lot of uh, anti-smoking groups out there um, that, that would argue you, you got to get off the stuff. It doesn't help to have people continuing to be addicted to nicotine. And the fear is also with e-cigarettes, which aren't regulated, um, you can buy them in different flavors. You can buy them in chocolate, you know, pina colada, cherry flavored. So there's a fear that um, this could sort of be a gateway um, to, uh, for, for young people to start smoking regular cigarettes. And, and, and so, that yeah. seems to, Mike, that seems to get to the heart of this matter, doesn't it? It's about children, and it's about keeping our children safe and not, addict, and, and not allowing them to get addicted to what is a very addictive chemical, nicotine. Yeah, because most people, um, if you don't smart, start smoking when you're young, you typically don't take it up later. Um, so yeah, the argument is um, keep it out of reach of children. And uh, because e-cigarettes aren't federally regulated at this point, um, it's being tied up in the courts, um, states are starting to move on this. And one of the things that they are moving on, where they have a lot of support, is prohibiting the sale of e-cigarettes to anybody under 18 years of age. Even the e-cigarette manufacturers think that that's probably a pretty good idea. Hmm. Okay, and there's um, still relatively small sales of e-cigarettes in the U.S. Um, to between 250 million and 500 million um, a year, which is is not really big. Uh, but big here's step. an important thing, right? Okay, L let, let's take aside the fact that you might be perfectly right about keeping it out of children's hands, Simon. Yes. Uh, from an environment, oh, yes, I am. From an environmental standpoint, Mike, uh, less smoke in the air, so you could go to a bar and a club, for instance, and everyone could be smoking, and you wouldn't have the same secondhand smoke. And your right? clothes wouldn't stink at the end of the night, which is another thing that used to be very much the nightlife experience. <laughs> Remember that? I can't Remember vouch, that? I can't okay. vouch for the stinking part. Um, I mean, there's a, there still is a vapor that, that is released. Um, again, the belief is that there's far fewer toxins um, in, in those vapors. Um, uh, so yeah, from that standpoint, you're better off. Um, the problem is the product is so new, there's a little oversight. Um, that just about everybody agrees, not very much is known about the, uh, the long-term health effects of e-cigarettes. So there's a debate out there, you know, do you, do you take them off the shelves until you figure it out? Or do you go with, you know, sort of a, a reasonable um, uh, consensus that says these things do not appear to be as harmful as you, regular you, cigarettes? You have tried one, right, Mike? Um, I haven't actually. Oh, come um, on. And, Have you uh, tried one? And, no, uh, but not sure if that's uh, the reporter. Bad, should. Probably makes me a bad reporter. Maybe it makes me healthier. <laughs> <laughs>